In this video, I'm going to show you how to decentralize your MetaMask wallet because the default settings on MetaMask are centralized, meaning that your transactions can be blocked. You can be denied access to your wallet. This is something that we recently saw, for example, with users in Iran and Venezuela. And if it happened there, it can happen anywhere. It can happen to you. But we are not going to allow that to happen. We are going to configure the settings in our MetaMask wallet so that we can decentralize our wallet and we can double down by adding a VPN as well. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. To decentralize our MetaMask wallet, we need to change the RPC settings. The way MetaMask works by default is that when you broadcast a transaction, it doesn't go directly to the network. Instead, it is broadcasted to Infura, a centralized node, and then they broadcast it to the network. So this is a centralized party that can block transactions or remove users. So the way to get around this is to run your own node. And if you run your own node, you can broadcast directly to the network, except this isn't really practical. Most people are not going to run their node due to the requirement. So instead, we are going to change the RPC settings. Instead of our transactions going to Infura, we will direct them to a decentralized node. And the way we're going to do that is by adding the pocket network. So we will head over to settings in our MetaMask wallet, scroll down to networks, and we'll see at the top Ethereum mainnet. And over here it says RPC URL. So we want to edit this, except we're not able to. It doesn't allow us to change this field. So what we are going to do instead is add a network. Now we have these empty boxes that we need to fill. So we are going to head over to the Pocket Network website, which I will leave a link for down below. And we are going to copy and paste this RPC URL into that field. And just so you guys know, this is not just for Ethereum. This can be used as well for other blockchains such as Avalanche, Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, and Harmony. So we are going to copy and paste this RPC URL and paste it exactly in this box. And if we head back over here, it says chain ID number one. And then for network name, we can call it whatever we like. We'll just call it the pocket network for this video, but you can give it any name that you like. And currency symbol is optional as well, but I will put Ethereum. And then for the block explorer, we are going to put Etherscan. Again, I'm going to leave all of this information in the description down below. Then we are going to save this network. Now, if we're back in the MetaMask, we can see we're on the Ethereum mainnet, the default setting by MetaMask that points to Infura, a centralized node, but we can simply switch now to the pocket network and we can transact in a decentralized way. And to double down, we can add a VPN as well and change our location because when we look at the users of Venezuela and Iran, MetaMask doesn't ask for their name, their address, their gender, their age. It's simply based off of their location. And with a VPN, you can change the location. I myself use ExpressVPN and it's very simple to use. You open the app and you simply connect. And then from there, you can change your location. So if I click on these three dots, I can change it to other places in the world. And if we head over to preferences, you can launch ExpressVPN on startup and you can also connect to the last used location when ExpressVPN is launched. So it can just automatically start if you like, or you can manually do it. And if you wanna get started with ExpressVPN, I have a link down below. With that link, you will get three extra free months. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.